Has, it, has, has the stream come up? Has it come up with the... Everybody in the um, chat there, thanks for joining me. First ever live stream. Um, I'm a little bit nervous and kind of don't really know what I'm doing or what's going on at the moment. Um, everyone who emailed me to join the Zoom call, I am just getting the um, emails out to you now. So if you check your inboxes, do check your spam as well. Um, but yeah, you should have those with you very, very soon. And we'll get the call started. Hello everybody, I've just seen your messages about the audio, is that uh, any better? Hopefully you can hear me now, if someone could let me know in the chat window. I think there's a bit, a bit of lag on this, can you hear me okay guys? Yep, that. Thank you, um, Lewis Trains, Raygun. Fantastic. Okay, guys, if you've um, asked to come into the Zoom call, I'm literally just um, I'm just getting the emails out to you now. So we should have the live stream up and running, hopefully, within the next five minutes or so. I'm just going to grab a cup of tea, get the emails out. So if you have asked to come into the um, Zoom call, check your inbox. Also, check your spam folder. You should have the link with you in the next couple of minutes. Um, I'm going to put a nice little message back up on the screen now. Thanks very much for your patience, guys. Um, first one of these I'm doing so I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing or how it's going to work or anything like that but uh, yeah hopefully hopefully it'll be a good evening so yeah check your inboxes guys if you're coming into the call and uh, check your spam folders and hopefully we'll be up and running very soon
I've never seen a six. I got chocolate. Oh, I'm no. I only ever, I only ever see three seven sevens and three seven fives. Yeah. Oh, I've got a piece of the one fifty. So don't worry. Man, I'm, I'm in Anglia zone, there's so we get his flats now. Yeah. Me. I can see me. Oh, I don't want the flats. Uh, we get all sorts. <laughs> Yeah, we got everything coming through chat. Oh, yeah. Oh. Try to Yeah. Oh, there's this. There's it. I think that's a Jujubua. I think maybe that's a used to be LNERs. That used to be. Was it cold? Oh, I got oh, this. What's that picture doing here? I got this book. Oh, yeah, quite nice. I got this book. I got this book, guys. Wow. Rafe. My name is Ray. It's, it's Ray. Yes. Ray. Sorry. Yeah. How's it going, James? How's it going, James? Uh, sorry. How's it going? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I've been off for a couple of weeks because a colleague tested positive, so I've had to stay at home since last Me Monday. Too. But, yeah, it sucks. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Dude, uh, I can't believe you're a train driver. I guess, uh, I guess you drive a 60, I guess you drive a 68, a 66. Who are you Who? talking to? Yeah. Yes, um, yeah, 66. I used to drive electric cars. Um, I worked for a passenger used company. To- in the south um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, Rich, Richard used to, yeah, Rich, Richard used to be with my dad's friend. My dad's friend, I think, my dad's friend used to know you, Richard. Possibly, yeah. Uh, Kenny, his name's Kenny. Yes, I know Kenny. Yeah. I can, yeah. I can see my, my train spot. That's, I've got a YouTube channel on there. I've got loads of videos. In my head, I went from Scarborough towards York on a six-day. See, we're 25 towards York, then got the 43 from York towards King's Cross. Is that when Lewis still running? Then I went on the dis- then I went on the Piccadilly line, 1964 stop towards Ells Court, then I got the district towards towards West Kensington. Oh, fair enough. Sorry, I think I'm the only person here that's actually not English or, well, like, not British. Yeah. Uh, oh. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Hello. 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 Well, where are you from, Mark? Uh, I'm Irish. Are you Irish? Oh. I'm from Yorkshire. North Yorkshire. Secure it. Yeah, we've got the Welsh here, don't we? Yeah. I'm <laughs> ready for that. Question, right, do you reckon... Uh, all right. Do you reckon I'm the youngest here? Um... Rich? There we go, that's oh, yeah? Yes. Are you going to YouTube in grid mode? Because everyone's sort of like, I don't know, what software are you using to stream onto YouTube? Uh, yeah. I got, my, I got it on my, I got it on my TV. Check the battery. 100. Now it's better. This was on the uh, on the YouTube stream. It's got different, uh, different people. If you get it into into grid mode on your Zoom, you might be able to ah, see it on the screen itself. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Is that better, guys? <laughs> there we go. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Look, oh, that's yeah, a lot better. Man. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of being cheap because you can pay 130 quid for Zoom for the year, and then you can stream from YouTube. But I'm just screen. Yeah. Paper. OBS because it's free. Oh. <laughs> OBS, it's honestly better as well. Yeah, um, OBS is definitely a lot better. It, it's yeah. in the uh, well, of choice. I'm yeah, quite I tall. I've got just about everything. I've got the, I've got Streamlabs. I've got Twitch Studio. I've tried OBS. Yeah, I use I use OBS. Yeah. Well, I can see I can see Jack's model railway. On there, look, there's look, someone's doing. I still think I see someone doing. I think I'm guessing that's Jack. I think that's Jack <laughs> on there. 
Oh, I can see more the way from there, says so Jack. I can Any see... suggestions what I should drive on train, Tim? Uh, what do you have? If you if you say any sort of modern diesel or electric loco, I've most likely got it. Yeah. How about the underground stock on uh, on TSW2? Yeah. How about the how about the what's it called? The I've got I think virtual district line train yeah, simulator. Yeah, yeah. That's about it. Oh my god! What have we done? District. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Connecting to audio. Oh, hey Joe, how's it going? Are we all still in? Joe, yeah. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> oh, we've got another James on the on the line. Yeah, we've got oh, James. James. Got two James. I don't see P train says. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm I'm working now. Yeah. Oh. I can hear sound. I can hear sound. Mm. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. But some people can guess. Yeah, Jack, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is best for me. Are you alright? <laughs> I can hear sound. I can hear sound. I can hear background sounds. Yeah, so. Yeah, I can hear quite a nasty buzzing kind of sound. Yeah. I've got the screen turned on as well. It might be from my end. Hang on, I'm going to mute my mic and uh, if you stop hearing it, then tell me. Yeah, right, Richie. Yep, come here now. It, it, yeah. it might be the delay because if you're watching on YouTube as well, there's a five second delay. Oh! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If, you, if you've got the stream on as well, mute the sound on the stream, otherwise it'll yeah. bounce back. Oh my God, I can see my face. Hiya, Jack. Hello there. How's it going? <laughs> my first time meeting you. <laughs> Hang on, I've got, the wrong, I've got the wrong top on. I should have someone else's top on. <laughs> yeah, I've got a drink. See, I'll show you, Jack. I've got... I've, I've got, got a better well. drink. Look, Jack, I've got this as well. Yeah, I've got Jack. Yeah, we can. I can hear. Hear you, Jack. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm raging. I had to sell all my models. Like every model I had, I had to sell them all. Bye. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. People. Uh. Who's playing train sim? Me. That's me. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm, I'm in a, uh, I'm in a I'm 377. Oh, wait. I'm in a 377 oh, environment for Millia to uh, go to Milton Keynes. Clapham Dutchman. Milton Keynes, then? Yeah. Hello, hello. I'm in a 377. From, from Victoria to Clapham. Was that Clapham? Yeah, this is Clapham. Last year. Oh, I've been. Been. Was was you there? I was. I'm always there. There's a, there's a four five five there and a four fifty <laughs> distance. <laughs> a three few three seven eights oh, behind that. Did you see me with this? Uh, sorry. Did you see me with this? I did it. I, o- I, over- I overshot I was, the platform I was slightly. Clapham, train station, ah. train station. Where the Clapham was that? 7. I think the 707 is going to east, the southeastern oh. railway from yeah. southwestern. Yeah, they will be. Yeah. It's going to be. I thought it was 717. It's not 707s. No, they are. Yeah, 707s. Because the they're, yeah, yeah, they're going to be replacing. They're going to be replacing the 376s, and the 376s will be going to southern. Uh, yep. Replacing the four five fives and the four five fives will get scrapped. That'll be a uh, three seven six is not meant to be complete four, dirt. I heard that somewhere that they're awful. Yeah, I mean, they're, I don't they're, know, they're 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 trains. <laughs> Southeastern and Southern, they yeah, never they're could. Five right. car units. Yeah, most, yeah, of yeah. Them, most of them, most of the three seven sevens and three seven fives, they're all filthy. Yeah, I've been on the right? Isn't that more? Off the trains correctly.
the three seven sevens are going in for their midlife refit, aren't they? I think they're having. Yeah, they are. They're going. Oh, for their life. okay. They're getting um plug sockets and stuff. Yeah, but you're not in the Three seven sevens. We've got them in first class anyway. Yeah, we have faces at the ball. I always wanted to have some play, right? And people are saying that I missed out on the good jokes because now I only have what? Oh, eight, 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 six. Ah! Yeah, you so missed. Any other drivers on this here apart from Richard? Yeah, uh, there, are, the there are some other drivers on here. Um, some Trans yeah. drivers. Uh, not that I know about. There's there's two other freight drivers in here. One, oh, God. One oh. Uh, do you want my dream job? Just being a train simulator. I will see your train go by. <laughs> no, <your. laughs> no I, I think to be, a train, to be a train driver, I, I'm just going to focus on my grains at the moment. More yeah. than... I, I do, I do drive trains, but they're tiny. They're seven quarter inch, actually. There's the only reason uh, I'm coming to train some now. Awesome. Is the one the, um, the yeah, they're the best one on the railway museum in York. I've not been up there. Ooh. I used to go up um, end of last year, and they gave me permission mm. to film everything and going to turn around behind the scenes, but I had to cancel it at the last minute. I was really, really disappointed with that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. On top of the next one, I went with the Is that my fifth? Is, is, is the PIS? Is the PIS? Um, that's some so, information. Mm. Yeah. 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 PIS. Oh, yeah. Wait, so who's that driving train sim now? Me, three trains. Where are you driving to and from? I'm going to Milton Keynes from East Croydon. Uh, I and think I'm just going. Central, you know, I, think, I think that's I'm a just leaving. That's a, that line goes up through Hem or Hempstead, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I always wondered why Southern run a line up to Milton. It always seemed weird. Yeah, it is yeah, very it's not very yeah. southern, is it? I don't understand why it's <laughs> under their franchise <laughs> agreement, but here we are. Why don't they go The really hard thing, the really hard thing is driving without the HUD, and I just have to memorize the whole route and just uh, know all the speed limits. Yeah, unless oh. you're in a hit of speed. Did you think of the 195? Northern, CAF. Yeah, the 195 from Northern. Express open my window. Yeah. And if you feel weakly enough, right now yeah. I'm driving a 375 from Victoria to Raynham. Ooh! Oh. I've been on that one. I've been on trains in, not in real life. There I've should be an a, East Coast. There's there's 395. an East Coastway. Um, there's an East Coastway route in the making for Prince in 2021. It goes. I'd love to see some Irish stuff. It goes from Brighton all the way to Ashford, including mm. Marshling. Ashford International. The Marshling line. Mm. Is Ash- now we just nice. need the southeastern line to Ashford. It'd be good for the 171. Yeah, it, it, it's good to stop the driver on. Get some, new, <laughs> get some use for the 171. <laughs> mm. <laughs> By the way, I'm holding my camera, so it's it's quite hard to hold my camera at the moment. Yeah, that's, 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 82, that's 82. I'm liking the look of that model railway there, Jack. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it does look good. Yeah, good. <laughs> Jack one, Jack two. Yeah, Jack one, know. Jack two. Yeah. No, that work. <laughs> Mine's all in bits at the moment. Yeah. Oh, going as well. well yeah. Um, <laughs> my game froze for a second. <laughs> I, I have a transition for a model railway, but that's as far as it's got. <laughs> Jack, there's been a well, my trains are like a bit fucked up at the moment, so yeah. I, I'm experiencing some some like power issues, but. I guess it's like the real railway where the trains all br- always break down and stuff. So, <laughs> did, you, did you know at Sheffield there was a, there was a derailment? Yeah. Oh yeah, with the yeah, uh, I saw the derailment yeah. today. Yeah. yeah. Some northern northern services go Doncaster, and maybe think no, loads of northern services are cancelled. Got, got a lot of double yellow yeah, signals yeah. from my line. It's, it's a freight liner one though, so it's not important. To Oh uh, no, it's nothing to do with me. Hey guys, is my microphone working now? Can you hear me? Yeah, it is there, yeah. Yeah, you know. yeah. I just wonder, apart from Richard, is there anybody here that has been through the driver recruitment process? Uh, no. 
not yet. Unless not, old, yeah. Yeah. Ah, not old enough. I, not old. I just wonder if there's not anyone else here as well who's been through any railway recruitment, whether it's guard, station staff, shunter. Well, I've been through. I've, I've been, been through. I've been one. Um, I applied for an apprenticeship with Irish Rail, but uh, oh. I got turned. But I, uh, my, I sat an online aptitude test. No, right. my friend said because I want to be a train driver. Obviously, I, I, I mm. could either go southern or southeastern. But um, my friend said that it's best to go down the route of a guard first and then be a driver. Ooh. I mean, generally over well. Over See, I was, to- I was told by Southwestern recruitment that they're completely different skill sets and not to do that. But- yeah. I guess yeah. it depends on different opinions, doesn't it, really? It, True. Oh, it yeah. depends on the company, I'd imagine. Like, over here yeah. in Ireland, it's very much not what you know, it's who you know. But, mm. you know, I don't mm. know what it's like in the UK. Just in the door and stuff. I, I think yeah, it's very exactly. difficult in the UK. I've just got my 17th job refusal. I, I went for driver last year, and I got through to the MMI which gives you six yeah. questions. One of the questions they didn't like the answer to, so that was it, game over. So I've tried loads of other positions, including Shunter, which I found out today I didn't even get an interview, which is crazy mm. that I can go through the process for driver, but when it comes to Shunter, then not even get a look in. But as Richard might know, mm. I'm not sure, it's incredibly competitive now, isn't it? Especially with a load of people that's lost their jobs in the airline and various mm. other customer service yeah. based yeah. roles. My, yeah. my experience to anyone who wants to become a driver is literally get your foot in the door on the railway in any job you possibly can, whether that's um, as more operational role, sort of platform, yeah. um, shunting if you mm. can. I know it's my gym job, but yeah, well, because they got well, the the on the station. What, what, say that again, Richard. Why, why is that? Do you think, um, is it because internal vacancies are easier to get? To progress in, I, just think, I think the mm. thing is with driving, it costs it costs companies maybe 15, 20 grand to play like a driver. Mm. Um, to gamble. Within, the people they're recruiting mm. have got a reputation, they know the managers, they know who they are, they're more likely to sort of make that investment on, on, on sort of people they know. Ah. Um, and also, it's, it's is that what I say? I know someone who works for Northern Trains who started the guard 20, that's when she did for 18 months. Then she applied for a driver role. And did she get mm. it? Jack Water said. Did she did she get it? You said she applied for it, but did she get it? The chat is saying. Richard, the chat is saying. Yeah, yeah did did she get the job? Mm. Anyway, Richard, you're saying basically just get in anywhere, even if it's Gateline, just get your foot in there and move yeah, on from there. Gateline, mm. Gateline is a really, really awful job, if I'm being honest with you. But once it is. You... I can tell you that firsthand. <laughs> I've been doing uh, Richard, you, Richard, you broke up again. Richard, what, what did you, Richard, what did you say about Gateline again? You broke up a little bit there. What, what about Gateline? A bit, a bit low down. Yeah, no, gate, gate line is good. You're on the railway. You've got your foot in the door. But the actual gate line job can be really, really gutsy. Um, mm. Once you got your foot in the door, you do your six months service, you check the internal vacancy list and then just take it from there. But getting your foot in the door, first of all, is, is the most important thing. Um, have you looked at the freight going into freight? Doing freight I have, yeah. I, I've, I've gone in with Freightliner about three or four times and um, uh, Crossrail, but I, I, I get past the, the online SJT. But then the next test, I always seem to fall over on. But with Southwestern, I got right to the very end. It was only the MMI, you know, one yeah. out of six, and then it's game yeah. over. I, um, I can't advise too much on the assessments and stuff because it's changed so much since I've done mine. I mean, there wasn't the MMI or, or anything like that. Really? Some, of, some of the guys who've done that more recently in here, I don't know if it's Callum or anything like that or Joe. Um, Maybe they could contact you directly. There wasn't even that for us. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. You're a little bit quiet, um, Richard. See um, is it is it possible to get a apprenticeship for drivers or not? The e- EMR are looking for them. I know, I know um, what was Virgin that's now Vanti. They did do something. Yeah, to uh, driver apprenticeships, but they're very far and few between, and a lot of companies yeah. now take on internal applicants mainly. 
So, like Richard said, get yourself onto the rail, get yourself doing some operation, yeah. and then do that. You've got to do that for a couple of years, realistically, and yeah. then when something comes up, go for it internally. Just go. You know, yeah. Okay. You know, the main, the main thing what we're making is get yourself just from my experience, in nine belly out of your eleven. Yeah. Okay. Do you know? I reckon something else with the MMI. I've just got a message here from Joe saying that he found the MMI was was the hardest part. I wonder really if you know when it comes down to it, if there's like ten people in this process, they, they they've got to get rid of somebody. So that I think is where the MMI starts to become, you know, a bit nuanced, really, and you can start <laughs> whittling the numbers down from that point. So it yeah. always seems a little bit. It's down to, it's down to the perception on the day, isn't it? They start whittling down a, the um, numbers. I have a question. What's an M MMI? It's called a multimodal interview. So they are they give you six questions and you, you write mm. down your answer on a piece of paper. They come back about half an hour later and they will ask you about say question one. They might be when have you helped out a customer and, and you will give an example and they will then go in, they will scrutinize you on your answer. <laughs> and, and the more they scrutinize and the more they drill down on your answer, the worse you are, really. They're they're trying yeah, to they're trying, trying to, to trick find you out. Up. Yeah, yeah, can you articulate? Because that's something else, as Richard will tell us, uh, that you know you need to be able to communicate clearly, and um, precisely. So I think the MMI is to find out how how effective you are at doing that, and if you're bullshitting really, and they sniff it out and kick you out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, it's it's tough. Tough. It's right, pretty well. <laughs> Jack, what's your dream job as a on the railway? Ah, uh, oh, driver. Driver. As it is with anyone, I mean, really. Obviously, yeah, <laughs> driver for sure. But man on the station, see where trains. It's all about go. the money, isn't it? Really, <laughs> it's all about the money at the end of the day. <laughs> Drivers <laughs> pay the most, so yeah, yeah true. Yeah. <laughs> see, I, um, I mean, what we have to do is is just really just try hard in in school, and you know, mm, and that's what I'm I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> I would probably recommend I don't have any exam results whatsoever. Wait. I didn't even sit my GCSEs and I got through to really? the final stage of that. So basically, oh, take that as a license just to DOS at school and, uh, <laughs> and waste no, your education. I, I, still, I still obviously do well. <laughs> I still I'm obviously saying, really want to do well. No, I'm but... joking. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the yeah. things that you learn at school are probably quite pointless. Do you know what I mean? In like the railway industry, so not really useful skills. Well, they don't even ask for qualifications to be a driver. They're just not interested in it. Can you concentrate and work on your own, really? Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah can cool. you? That's that's why they run the assessments. They're checking your ability to, to, to do the job. Um, yeah. What yeah. I say with regards to qualifications at school. Once you get a job as a train driver, that's kind of it's kind of a dead end job. You're stuck. If you want to progress mm -hmm. from there into management, into training, into a higher sort of higher paid role, the only way you're going to do that is with some decent qualifications, A levels or something. Yeah. Like what about still... driver manager though? Uh, yeah, I mean, drive. To be honest with you, driver managers. If you take into overtime into consideration, they don't. They probably earn less than what a driver does. Uh, driver, they do, and really? they always complain oh, about well. this is a driver, and you're on more than your manager because the manager's right. on overtime. So, yeah, and it's whether you want that mm. added responsibility as well. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Mm. Mm. Like my dream job is like to be a train driver but well, I can't be a train driver because I've got red green colour confusion so I wouldn't pass the medical oh you're screwed oh yeah yeah I, now I could be a bus driver that'd be me next like I, I'd <laughs> love to be a bus driver as well so that's like 60, to be a train 65 driver. grand down to 21 grand then isn't it well obviously you, I've got I've got my dad's how friend how do you think of driving get, get to a train driver <laughs> Oh, how do you? Oh, I should be doing my work experience with uh, Southeastern mm. as well. Mm. Same as me. I was um, part of it with GWR, but uh, COVID and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like I got two days into my work experience with Southeastern and they cancelled it because of COVID. 
Oh, oh Rick. Yeah. Uh, what was that for? What job? Uh, it was What's literally there? just working in a station just for oh, okay, a week. Cool. Yeah. A it week's was... work experience in a station. Um, yeah. I was meant to be going back, but obviously they've had to push that back again now, thanks to the second lockdown. Mm. Well, it's I mean... a good place to start, isn't it? I used to work in a station. I used to work at this station. <laughs> oh, <nice. laughs> they, they made me redundant. Can you believe oh. it? Well, what were you doing? Are you, are you next to the microphone? Well, as I did my <laughs> oh, heart radio. If any, if anyone is from Sussex, which I think Richard is, yeah, yeah. I am as well. I am as well. So I, I used to be on Heart Sussex. I used to do drive time on there. So there's Tom, Nicola, and Jack in the morning. And then mm. I used to do that, but they, yeah. they kicked us all out last year. So I thought, oh, I'll be a train driver then. I'll, I'll swap one station for the other. But <laughs> that, that was a trophy we all took at the end. On the final show, we just all, all unscrewed the microphones and um, <laughs> took them home as a trophy. Yeah. <laughs> Get a job doing station announcements then. You'd be good at station oh, announcements. Do you know what? I, did. I was going to apply for that. There was one in Basingstoke um, back in mm. May and I was going to apply for it and I didn't and I wish I had now. I think with your history in radio, you'd probably, yeah, you'd probably do all right with that. I should have done, shouldn't I? Well, do you know what? I saw it on the internal vacancy for Southwestern. So obviously they didn't find anyone externally. So they advertised it internally and I saw it. But obviously I can't apply. And I phoned them up about it and asked if I could go for it. And they're like, no, it's internal now. Uh, okay. Right. All right. <laughs> Where, whereabouts in the country are you looking for, Mark? Just wherever? Um, yeah, wherever, really. Um, in the southeast. So as, as, you, as, you, as I just mentioned, I'm in Basingstoke, but I would um, quite happily what commute. Would check, check GB Rail Freight um, at Eastleigh, because they were, they were looking for... <laughs> Uh, rail operator shunters. I know you will get the next step up the ladder from there is driver. And I've oh, hang on, I'm going to write that down. What's that? GB Rail Freight. Yes. Easily. Easily. That <laughs> is a great tip. That. When did you When did you see that, Richard? <laughs> Sorry. When did you see that? That was uh, a couple of weeks ago. I saw that. Oh, okay. oh, <laughs> I bet that's gone now, isn't it? I bet that's probably snapped up. Good oh, night. Have a right, I'm getting it down. I'm going to go for that. Jackson, mm. was it called? Ah, uh, it was called. Casey, what? Did you dig through your car? My shit. I'm going to find a link for it. In my kids, I've been married to one of the top dogs there, Greatest from Railway. So, if you know, if you need anything to be processed or maybe job application, I'll get it from uh, there. Is that who you work for now, Richard? I couldn't possibly say. Okay, fair enough. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> enough said without saying. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I see. I see little. I can see a little moon. In the meantime, <laughs> I'm in my garage repairing mobile phones. So if anyone's got an iPhone oh. that they want fixing. Or, yeah, um, I don't like uh, Galaxy. Uh, I've got a nice yeah, Galaxy S7 screen here. If anyone wants one of those, yeah, I could do it with an S10 Plus screen. S10 Plus, S10 Plus. I'm driving jobs like. We've turned like? this from dad rail into dad phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. I'm going to shut up. Yeah, it's the second channel. <laughs> I need I need a new phone. Do you? <laughs> I do. Anything but that? iPhone. Who said iPhone is a phone? swear word. Yeah. Buy this? <laughs> it's probably the Huawei something. I have it's a Motorola Huawei. Something it's Trump's favourite phone. <laughs> yeah. uh, guys, I think I might have to head oh, off. Huawei, yeah, yeah. I've got my hearing on the they're not going to work after next year, though, are they? Hawaii's all all the apps are kind of being stopped and stuff. Well, yeah, that's true, but they will Trump work. They're being, being stopped as well. well so we've tried. Well, true. <laughs> I to be they're honest, though, changed I'll... over to their own operating yeah, system. Yeah, they won't have. Um, yeah. Well, it'll probably still be. It'll probably still be Android, but um, it, they won't have the Google suite on them. Um, and so as well, they're, they're not allowed. Them. They don't have any five G in the UK now. Yeah, but don't forget that is Trump ooh, saying that. Ooh. Trump's gone. Well, he, no, he doesn't Trump's know he's gone. Yeah. He thinks he's there, doesn't he? But he's, well, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> True, but like Trump can't kind of turn around and say, oh, you can't use 5G in the UK because apparently for some reason the country. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, like uh, to be honest, no, it's like, just a different case, just a case yeah. if we have to get the uh, infrastructure from some other company instead of because mm. the, the majority of the infrastructure is coming from Huawei. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I, my favourite, I use OnePlus. I've got a OnePlus 7T. And I had a OnePlus 6 before that until I dropped it out a window. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> bring it to me. I'll fix it. It's in the back of a bin truck now because I, for some reason, I was going to even fix it myself. And then I, I for have some a whole reason, box just threw of it into the broken bin. screens. You can add it to this. <laughs> No, oh, we, oh, we hijacked oh, this call and made it about phones, so we need to get. Yeah, we did that. actually. Uh, yeah, quite a lot of phones. He's gonna, he's gonna fix them all at six o'clock in the morning whilst listening to Rick Hasley. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> right, uh, we'll we'll make it about trains again. Um, someone yeah. dropped Rick at a train today in Dublin. Oh, uh, no more good. Dublin then. That's, yeah, that's, exactly. That's not nice. <laughs> No, <laughs> actually, just... <laughs> Richard, have you had anything like that before when you're driving? Have you had people just chucking stuff or? Yeah, the the only thing I've had, um, and it was when I was driving for a passenger company based in the southeast that had blue trains. Mm. Um, <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Yeah, like the daft name is different. And someone lobbed something at the um, side window, which was open. So, oh. um, it's come in the cab, but it smashed the side window proper good. Um, oh, my God. Uh, oh, man. Scared. What did you do? Did you, did you put the brakes on? Uh, I didn't for that. No, I, I just carried on. Um, reported it. Obviously. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the best thing to do, really. Um, yeah, because if you stop that next thing, more bricks get thrown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they realize they can get more through the window. They, I mean, the, the I, houses are miles away, so they must have had a really good throw on them. Well, yeah. Richard, I, I, thought that you would do, I thought that you'd do a handbrake turn and go and run after them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to do that. Tell a lie, tell a lie. I, I took a train to um, Chertsey a little while ago, class 66. And mm. there were two mm. kids on the platform and someone threw something at the window and it's 20 mile an hour through there. And I was so tempted Jeez. to get off the train and jump off, but you just get loads <laughs> of ammo and some, you're going to yeah, get abused. Just... It's not worth it at the end of the day. So no. Yeah, I mean, you get, sacked, you get sacked for punching a child. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the same. Really. I always close the window if, um, if I'm going along the North London line. I just don't, you know, I don't want an acid attack or something. Blind down, window <laughs> shut, yeah. go through all the platforms. <laughs> it's safer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you do that with the one to draw. <laughs> Basically, like, on, on, um, on the south, on southeastern, you say, don't stop at Swanley or they'll have the wheels off the train. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing that sure. my next stop is at Swanley. Probably true. You know, I, I live in, I live in Hayes. That's just I want yeah. to say that out loud. Yeah, <laughs> I live in Hastings at the moment. <laughs> uh, I was in class 170 going to Hull a lot from Scarborough. Mm. Used to be Scotrail, now transferred to Northern. Oh, yeah, Northern have got like, Scotrail 158s and 170s as well. Oh, I'll tell you what, yeah, you, won't I... believe, you won't believe how many trains I got. Um, I saw at Pevensey and Western level crossing. I was stopped there for ages. I saw about four four trains go by in one sitting. <laughs> Where is One closure. One closure. Like that's to it. Somewhere, did you? <laughs> well, never been on the one and five. Usually, what I find. I was I was sat there for seven minutes. Mate, I get held there for longest. Seven minutes. I was <laughs> sat there. I was stuck Ouch. at my local in a car for once for fifteen minutes. Four trains turned up because they're all running late. Northern. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Those Hasn't um, anyone ever been at a level crossing and uh, they've left the barriers down? Uh, uh, no. Like by accident. Does it count if the barriers were knocked down? They're automatic. No, I've, I've never. Uh, heard it, that it does happen. It does happen. Have, <laughs> the only thing I have had is when the, the, they put it down a bit late. Well, isn't it like 25 seconds or something that has to be? Um, 28, I think like, it is. Yeah. Uh, right. 
Yeah, yeah I, I thought it was 27, but there you go. If, it, if it's <laughs> uh, an AHB, an automatic crossing, then it's automatic. It's controlled by treadles on well, the track. Well, Cooden Beach is, a, is an AHB, I'm an pretty AHB, sure. Yeah. But if yeah. it's, say... Um, Northern, Northern line, North, the trans line is automatic. Awesome, what's it called? The automatic... Oh. Automatic half barrel. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you get AHBs and AFBs. And then you've got... MCB CCTV ones, uh, yeah. which is Pevensey Bay, I think, has that has that one. Uh, no, Pevensey Bay is. Um, oh no, it's an obstacle it's detection, detection, isn't it? Detection, isn't it? It's coming OD. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they got um, the lights got re- recently refurbished there mm. from from the older halogens mm. to the new yep. uh, to LEDs. Um, LEDs. Yeah. Like, like yeah, I feel wigwags. actually um wigwags. Uh, yeah, wigwags. Yeah, I feel like I knew actually um <clears throat> had a video up on his YouTube and level crossing right by his house completely went mad and like the sirens and lights were going off, but the barriers were staying up. There was no trains coming, and then the yeah. barriers would go down and the lights would stop. The lights would turn off and the barriers yeah, would be staying it's down. Pro- it's <clears throat> most likely probably a failure with it. Yeah, yeah. Everything was coming through at like five miles an hour. Yeah. Like I was at my local crossing a few months back, and some uh, idiot came through on a motorbike and took the barriers out. So, and as oh, I God. turned up, there were literally just three seven fives and four six fives running across the crossing at like five miles an hour, completely Jeez. open. So, did the um, the drivers know that the crossing uh, was damaged then, or? Oh, uh, uh, were, yeah, they, they would have known because there would have been a red signal. Yeah, 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 there's a signal protecting every crossing. Yeah. That, that's, no, if it's, if it's an AHB... Which is, of course, it's yeah, quite if a it's, Yeah, if it's problem. an AHB, then, then it's not protected. It's it's pretty much just not monitored at all. Uh, wait, uh, are, are AHBs monitored in, in some way? Like, in, like, surely they must be monitored. The actual, cause... whether the barriers are down or not, as far as I know, it's not monitored. Um, I think if, there's got to be some sort of fail-safe system where it rings an mm. alarm in the signal box if something goes wrong. Um, mm. But yeah, I, I made a video about that a little while ago. It's, it's um, barriers up, lights off, train goes across. across mm. Sometimes it right. goes on emergency mode. It does automatic for emergency vehicles. Yeah, I, I don't know about emergency mode on crossings. Well, I've never heard that about that. Yeah, I think they just have to wait, as far as I know. Yeah, I've never heard of that either. Mm. Yeah, they end up being having to be taught for a signal. Mm. Um, but the um, the barriers can be um, manually wound if the if the motors fail or anything like that. Obviously, yeah. they have to get the um, they have to get a, an engineer or a mom. Or that, that would take quite a while, and the the mm. train would be stuck at a red signal for a while as well, which would result in the oh, train yeah. being late. Sometimes, if the barriers have failed, don't they get like a guy there with like a red and a, a green flag to stop the traffic and stuff, or does that not happen anymore? Yeah, you you can get um someone there uh, to stop the traffic and then flag the train across with the barriers up. That that's allowed. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. all right. Uh, there are certain types of well. uh, with the certain types of crossings, you can go across with the barriers up. Mm. The fail position. Um, yeah. A O A uh, A B C Ls, I believe, if the barriers are up. Um, you can proceed across them. Yeah. Right, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to go that... now. I'm going to have to go. All right, right bud. Right. I'll Thanks see you later. you later, guys. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Like, the funniest thing about the incident that happened at my local level crossing is it's within sight of both the signaling centre and mm. the uh, depot. Oh. And yet they still went straight through the uh, straight through the barriers. I was uh, what uh, train spotting at a station once, which is like right next to a crossing, and uh, mm. the barriers, uh, the signal forgot to put the barriers up, and uh, mm. one of the train spotters phoned the uh, signal centre to um, ask them to lift the barriers up, and they'd forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that! Imagine being the, in the signalling uh, centre and next thing a train spotter phones you. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> on the um, crossings, isn't there like a telephone number? Yeah, there normally is. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I always train spotted York a lot. York's quite a good one, isn't it, for spotting? York, York yeah. is yeah. pretty bad. I've done York a few times now. Yeah, but, uh, so I would see, see someone on the road cam at York. Yeah. Probably if York. Nail check. Problem with York is the northbound freight uses the avoider because yeah. there's an avoider on at York that southbound, like, southbound goes through the station. Yeah. And there's a reason for that. Can go through the southbound line on York. Uh, when the south, when the southbound freight comes through, it has to cross over uh, the fast to get the avoider, so they send it through the station instead. Yeah, uh, that's, that's right. What, that's what someone told me at the NRM. Yeah, it's the same problem at a crew with the freight using the avoider. Rather. Yeah. There, there's an app called Flight Finder. So if there's a mm. plane that goes over your head, you can see where it's going and where it's come from. That's right. Okay. You... Is there a train version of that? Think... Well, uh, I have a... got open train times, which has got the maps and stuff on it, but I don't think there's anything like GPS linked. Actually, that would be well, quite a good idea. There's got, a, um, app. It'd be a good app, Richard. Track, okay. track, see? Uh, yeah, that's why yeah, yeah, it's track and you like stay. track the train. It's sort of like a signaling sort of diagram, but it's I use yeah. as well. It's quite but Irish Rail have trainers. that. Yeah, yeah, Irish Rail have it, but it's only for passenger stuff. Like that's saying we don't have real time trains over here. Although apparently we're getting it sometime this week or something. But like whenever there's engineering trains or freight or out and running, mm. no one really, no train spotters really know the time, so they have to kind of guess when it's running. Um, yeah, that's right. And yeah, they're very unreliable. Like I was film, I went out to yeah, film yeah, auto balusters once, and mm. they ran ten hours early. What? Ten hours early? What? Yeah. You never so get that over here. Never get that here. Yeah. <laughs> on time in so. the UK for free is like ten hours late. That early. Definitely yeah, not right. on Southern. You don't get them running ten hours early. You don't get anything running early on Southern. <laughs> Sometimes I was for the first time run for a class sixty six. From in Scarborough, doing giving the new tracks. What a big broken rail. Mm. Yeah, if, if I ever says seven train is early, it's probably a glitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's definitely a big glitch. In southern service is early. It's probably not a southern service. <laughs> no. <laughs> Another question for Richard in a minute. Yeah, uh, there is. Richard? I'm here. Do your colleagues, well, they must know about your video. What do they make of it? Do, do they make a comment? Do they watch your videos or what? Yeah. Well, you should ask Callum about that. <laughs> oh, does Callum work with you, does he? Ah, uh, he might do. Oh, okay. Yeah, can't comment. <laughs> Microphone's off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we go for no, here. No comment then. Will off, he... Callum. Well, he's here now, so that, that kind of answers that question, doesn't it, really? There we go. Um, do most, you... most guys in Tamworth know about this? I know that there's a couple of us who are sort of into the into railways who, who know you do this, but I don't know how well spread it is. Well, um, I'll, I'll put it like this as we're in a public forum. Mr. Reed got hold of it. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Reed at Tunbridge or Mr. Reed yeah. at... Uh, no, it was well, Mr. 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 Reed at everyone. Tunbridge. Oh, well, everyone knows that. Your that videos. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry, Mark? Well, he got hold of your videos. What do you mean when you said he got hold of it? Well, he got to know about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but it's, you have, obviously, you've got to be careful what you say, social media policies and stuff like that. You've got to cover your ass. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, that's yeah. why I'm quite careful about Richard. what I say. And I sort of talk more about the job as in being a train driver rather than the job as in who I work for. One of your yeah. videos, Richard, got used in uh, our training class when, when we were going through the rules. Your uh, TW8, your level crossings, actually got used in one of our classes. Oh, I should get commissioned for that. Yeah, I think you should. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say that. <laughs> I'll write to management. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they grabbed that video. <laughs> Wait, the question is, was it in the Dad Frell video library? And did yes, take up more than the video? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, blue HST, yes or no? Yeah, no, I don't like it. 
No. I quite no, like no, it. No, no. Controversial. Quite, quite simple. It's got it no gun. <laughs> so I don't like it. It I'm, doesn't look I'm, that bad. I'm informed it's back at Eastleigh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it went down a few days ago. Mm. Like Jack's got there. I quite like it. I think it looks quite smart. I, mean, no, I think it looks good too, yeah. I, uh, yeah, it looks it looks decent. I was I was working. I think that one. It doesn't look as bad as the seven hundred in the template delivery. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I can't. Nothing, nothing uh, I can imagine the seven of seven. Oh. If they put the seven of seven in the South Eastern Blue Liver, it's going to look amazing. You think so? I think. Hopefully. Suit the dark blue. <laughs> yeah, but South Eastern probably won't paint it. They'll probably just leave it white. I mean, well, they did the three. Yeah, seven, that's. Seven. I think they do. Yeah, they just leave it white and put the South Eastern logo on it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Like blue and white a bit. I mean, their franchise was supposed to finish up years ago, so I, I don't mm. know if they're going to be around for very long. Mm. No, they might as well not bother. Is it? I mean, it's not as like as a franchise anymore. <laughs> Is it, hasn't the franchise been stopped now? Though? Yeah, they were talking about like um, nationalising it all again, weren't they? Yeah, I know. I know yeah. they're nationalising okay. transport for Wales. I don't know about any of They already have. Well, Northern and LNE are already like renationalised, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. 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 As is um, the uh, West Coast mainline as well, I think. Mm. My mate works as a driver on Southwestern. He says they're pretty much nationalised already now. They're just um, they're being paid by the government and um, pretty much already there. Yeah, I think it should be called are. Boris Rail. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Football Wales is basically the Welsh government now. Uh, well, yeah. Boris, 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 Boris Train. Boris Train. <laughs> Boris Train. Boris Train. Boris 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 what about Trump train? <laughs> it's not the lane. It's a Trump train. It's a huge train. Beautiful train. That'll be, that'll be the day when we get Amtrak's over here. <laughs> mm. That'll be weird. Yeah, that'll be weird. Be weird. Double, Austin. Like double track of diesels again. And Amtrak bought Alston. That'll look very dodgy seeing a double decker train coming out of Charing Cross or something. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. you need to have low platforms again because, well, again, I don't know why I said again, but um, in America, all their platforms are like really low. They are, yeah. Big. Yeah, I noticed it in Normandy as well. Yeah, all over Europe has really low platforms. Like over here, our tram platforms are really low. So it's like, mm. it's got, thing is, technically at, the, at our tram stops, you can just walk across the track and you're not really trespassing. Like you're not at all. I yeah, I was down oh, Margin Yard a few days ago, and it's really weird down there. It's, the footpath through the, the middle of the yard. Really open. Mm. Mm. What What does everyone think of this tram train system in Sheffield? I, man, I've not used it because see, I've in fairness, I've used barely any mm. trains in the UK. Like I've only been on a one seven five, um, yeah. a two two one, and a three ninety, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, dependent, you know, from I think from use from London Euston to Liverpool Elm Street or yeah. I oh, know yeah, I only got it from Birmingham New Street to Birmingham International. Yeah, that's right. From Birmingham New Street to Euston. I only got it to Birmingham International. But um no tram train it is it looks quite good from what I've seen of it. It does seem quite yeah. good, but then you know, I've not seen that much and I can't comment properly without travelling on it. It's, it's a very yeah. interesting concept, and I think it's from what I read, it's like on a four year trial or something. But I, I hope mm. it continues. It, it's a really interesting concept. In yeah, fact, I'm Blackpool just... doing Blackpool. Right. I think the working centre again demolished. I'm getting a new, getting a new 
what's it called? New tram stop, tram stop for the new trams at Blackpool. Yeah. Mm. It, it, would be, it would be good. Well, that, yeah. well they, we, we need more um, suspension monorails from Vuppertal. That's what we need over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They'd be interesting. Imagine them everywhere. Right. Imagine them everywhere in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> What does so, everyone uh, think about the um, tunnel Northern. from Scotland to um, Northern Ireland, or, or, like the bridge or the tunnel with the, you know what I mean? Mm. It seems mm. a bit odd, but at the same time, it sounds like something the Scots would do. So. <laughs> What's the worst train have you ever been on, guys? I'm not allowed to say because it's quite controversial. I guess Pacer. Other than 171. My best one is 170. And then 158 and 170s. Yeah. Worst is one, 153. Worst thing on the planet. They're just boring, like they just stink of toilets, oh, but yeah. they are, they do stink. Yeah. What, what, what did I miss? I, I left I for like I 10 seconds and I come back and everyone's talking about toilets. <laughs> worst, worst train to ride on. Toilet, <laughs> Mrs. Dadrell. <laughs> Mrs. Dadrell, you've been noticed. You're awake now. Hello, Mrs. Dadrell. <laughs> Actually, it's Dad Lou now. It's now Dad Toilets. <laughs> <laughs> I found out that the train's... Number one uh, toilet channel. I found out oh, that yeah. the train's... Um, <laughs> train's... Uh, ten years ago, in my in my time, is better than than the ones they are using now. A lot of people say that here. They say the old trains were much more comfortable than the new ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Here, yeah. Tried riding a seven hundred. Right. Yeah. Richard, I'm um, switching from my phone to my laptop. Hence, why I've just got a new uh, request. Uh oh yeah. Uh, admit. Like ten years ago, right. in my town, they got some spread, uh, turbo stars, but they, now, now, uh, for the last few years, they don't got mm. turbo stars. They got express sprinters. Express sprinters. That'd be the one. I'd rather one five eight than turbo stars. Yeah, that's right. One five eight. Yeah. There they go. They got. What's it? They got. They got, what's it, they got oh. <clears throat> time. Yeah. I think one of the, um, with the older trains, Richard Hawking actually just mentioned in the chat, with the older trains, if something went wrong, everything was compatible. You know, if you had a, a slam door unit and a loco, you just mm. couple it up. So, exactly, yeah. yeah. Every, everything was mechanical. Now everything's electrical. Now it's all plug a laptop in. And you have yeah. to like, yeah. muck around with barrier coaches and stuff. And it's not, well, yeah. you, can't, you can't, if something oh, fails, yeah. you can't it's assist it away. Like, okay, it's got 700. But you can at least enjoy the free first class. Oh. Daniel yeah, that's Van Pratt said. Yeah, blame, blame Jeff Marshall for that video he made a few years ago. On... Yeah. <laughs> I've never travelled in, in Thameslink uh, uh, standard class. I've Always never travelled right, in Thameslink right. full stop. <laughs> <laughs> they would. I mean, in, in, this, um, in this area, there's no... There's, um, no such thing as first class anyway. It's all declassified in the, on the southeastern area. On the yeah. Everything over here. Class. Yeah, like everything over here except first time from your except Dublin Belfast and Dublin Cork <laughs> is declassified. <clears throat> if you pop in, uh, pop on Northern's one seventy. So they've got ex Scotrail one seventy, so it's first class. Yeah, but they're declassified. Mm. So, you yeah, can we, so does it still have like the old Scott Rail seats in it and stuff then? Yeah, it's all northern colours now. All right. Yeah, the GWR turbo. Some lots and lovely. Some lots and one five X got uh, the Scott Rail colours still got it like two years ago. It's very, it's very cool. I, mm. I feels like Scott Rail colours look very cool. Yeah. Yeah. If you can guess where I am on train some at the moment from this footage, you're absolutely amazing. Mm. Uh, third rail area. No overheads. There's not much to go on. <laughs> London Bridge, I reckon. No. Is it on London. Brighton Mainline? 
Yeah. You remember, guys, the, the what's it called? The southeastern, the southwestern railway, class 444, got broken up the snow. Mm. Oh, shit. Did I just leave? Am I still here? I'm after hitting something and I don't know what. No, I think you've left. Well, um, no, I, yeah, you're I, not here I, anymore. Um, we can't hear you. <laughs> Who said I'm that? Half, I'm half tempted to say Rochester. <laughs> Mm. Ah, ah, this says, Daniel Morris says, Richard, I would agree with you. We've, we've got guard panels on our 700 in case things change. That's very interesting, actually. I didn't know the 700s had um, guards panels on them yet. So that, that's, that's, that's good. Mm. Yeah. Um, I don't know what everyone else's opinion is, but we don't remember Rob without guard this. panels. Only got them in each end in the uh, driving cab, uh, driving uh, end coaches. Mm. When, we were, when we were testing them, the uh, the network rail bloke never went further to test the uh, doors and whatnot. We only did it from that front coach with the uh, guards panel on it. At least, at least it can be done though. Two man operations. So. Oh yeah, yeah I think <laughs> which one's the best horn yeah. you've heard? For, um, oh, please please up with the chat, Callum, as well. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks for keeping up with the chat, Callum. I've noticed you've been answering every question. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm on the case. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to keep up with chat as well. With Thameslink, you can stay in first class with only if you are back of the, of the train. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's just give it away where yeah. I am. <laughs> yeah, Jeff Marshall made Which a video. station are you at? Yeah. Oh, hey, it's miles an hour through. Good old Chavum. Oh. Chavum. Daniel Morris writes there, of 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 the uh, front or shorter services or front of cold front of the shorter services. We have got a trespasser on the line at the eight car mark. <laughs> <laughs> anyway though I'm going to I'm going to head I'm going to go uh, I might join back at some stage later this is still on mm. yeah. so, um, <clears throat> I'll just see you all later brilliant thanks Richard, Richard. Thanks. Richie, before, yeah. before you, before you, you go you just like if yeah. I were just like you say you get the two confused like uh, red and green so all you got to remember is red means go and green means stop yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Stop that spad. Green means go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Gets, uh, gets confused. So if you don't stop at the red ones, you'll never be late. If it's back yeah, exactly. red, yeah, yeah, red yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't stop at the red ones, you won't be late either. <laughs> All right. I'll see you later. There you go. Just a West Coast right, Railway right. policy. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, I've got. I'm ducking out as well. Yeah, let us know when you got the next one on. I'll uh, join that. Fantastic. Cheers, Joe. No worries. See you later. Cheers. See you later. Have a good one. Bye. There's been a bit. I, of I have a uh, question for Richard. Um, if it, uh, yeah, uh, whistle boards, um, yeah. and like foot crossings, is it um? down to the driver to do the horn or if the crossing doesn't have a whistle board what happens there right basically whistle board you sound a low tone only that is the rule book instruction however the union instruction is you sound two tones so high and a low um, which is what most drivers will do mm. if the crossing doesn't have a whistle board there's no requirement to sound the whistle it's then down to the driver's discretion um, what you will tend to find is a lot of the neighbours who live near crossings complain a lot about the noise um, because obviously when they bought their houses, there wasn't a railway track there. They didn't know that. Um, so <laughs> you'll get a lot of crossings where whistleboards get removed either by network rail or they suddenly disappear overnight because one of the locals has had enough. Um, but if you see someone on a crossing about to cross or near a crossing, then you would sound two tones. So, yeah. yeah it's a bit of a, a dodgy area. Me personally, I mean, if it's got a whistle board, I sound two tones. If it hasn't, I don't. Um, but yeah, if you see someone on the crossing, you blow your horn. But if I see someone waving, I blow my horn. So, yeah. yeah. 
Well, if you, if, so if, if the if crossing the doesn't fire, have a whistle board, is it down to like the public to see you and stuff then? If it hasn't got a whistle board, it would have been risk assessed and signed off by network routes. So basically it'd be on a bit of track where they've got enough room to see you. So it'd be on a long straight, but it wouldn't be like hiding around the corner. Ah, mm. right, yeah. They've got a crossing down Margam and you can see for about a mile down the track. Yeah. Yeah, that, so that probably mm. has got a whistle board on it. No, it didn't. Yeah. Ah, Wait, good, good says, would you ever go low then high? Yeah, whichever way around you want. There's, there's no rubber construction. There's no low, high, high, low, high, low, low, <laughs> high. Either, Dan. Yeah, either, either. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, whatever are you feeling? <laughs> whatever, whatever mood you're in at the time. Daniel Morris Garland says, Would you ever use the depot warning horn not to would you ever would you ever use the ho- depot 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 warning horn not in a depot? Um a lot of stock doesn't have a depot warning horn, it's only the more modern stock that does. You would never use it at a whistleboard. If you're at a whistleboard, you've got to use the full horn. Um <laughs> but if you were just sort of Someone on a platform or on a bridge, you could use a depot horn, but as an official warning, you wouldn't use it. No, yeah. Um, if you're in a depot and the train hasn't got a depot horn, then you would use the low tone of the, of the horn, yeah. One five eight goes low horn, low tone, tone, and high tone, just like <laughs> that, that, Jack. It's um, mm. yeah. <laughs> The 68 is quite good. The hot the desire one at five goes extremely loud. Yeah, the horn on a 66 is not good when you're standing next to it. That's what I'm saying. What, 66? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've had it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Has someone heard of the, what's it called? Darth Vader. Oh, yeah, the, DV, yeah. the DVT on a Mark 5A. Yeah, ah. the, the, the Darth Vader. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I remember I was at Cardiff a few years ago, a 67 standard horn, quite loud. That'd be yeah, on the a word may have came out. Oh. <laughs> well, good word. I, may, I, may, I may have done the Darth Vader tune on the horn once or twice. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Well, you can't <laughs> stop, really, can you? Ah, the, the, the hard word says TWS2 is the best. The new, the new, the new model bus 05 said. Well modded. The big canoe line as well modded. Modeled, sorry. Modeled, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've Kent, got... train, Kent train fan says hello. Hello, I've I've got TS. W1, to be honest, I don't really play it. I just bought it to try it out. Um, I used to play Train Sim quite a lot, but then once I started driving them for real, I kind of got fed up with it. Um, yeah, it missed the point, really. <laughs> I, I, I'll stick with what I said in my, my other videos. Sort of TSW, the graphics and the systems are, are superb, but the driving experience is just not great at all. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's a really, I know yeah. it's a really good game, but if you want a simulator, there is a simulator. Download OpenBVE because the way that driver handles is spot on. Mm. Or Train Simulator 2021. It's not bad either. It's not. It's not a bad. It's not bad, but the actual driving physics and the way the train handles it just isn't. It isn't the same. It isn't right. Mm. It's designed as a game yeah. to a wide audience, mm. and I get why they've done that. Yeah, Train Simulator is much more. Come on. I find when you're on a simulator, it's hard to like stop in the right place because you can't like actually feel the, the force of the train sort of moving. If that makes sense. Yeah, I, it's, yeah. it's probably easier to stop. Ah, in the, a simulator. The, the new bus, new model bus, the new model bus zero five says I blew the horn on TWS two when I speed through a station. What no matter what, I have a TS TS twenty one. Yeah, again, it's personal preference. There's no requirement. There's this great clause in the rule book that says the driver can sound the horn whenever they feel it necessary. So, yeah, if there's lots of people on the platform, then just 
blow away. Best, best <laughs> line in the whole book. Just <laughs> <laughs> get out of jail free, that line is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the, um, like, the most tones you've done at once? I, I've never counted. <laughs> Did you and report back <laughs> next time? <laughs> there, is, there is a guy who was supposed to be in the chat actually called uh, Josh, who's often a, you might have seen him in he's at Shawford all the time. And uh, I think he's got a video of a driver doing about 114 tones or something oh. like that. Gee! <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to try and compete with that. That's crazy. Someone got trigger well, happy. Has he, has he found a job yet? <laughs> yeah. yeah, counting trains. Yeah. yeah. I saw one where a, a video where a template driver in. did um, Baby Shark on the, uh, like, the horn. It was ah! Okay. <laughs> Baby Shark on the horn. the only two yeah. tones to the horn, plus a whistle. Come, come up with tunes you can play on two tones only. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got about five in my repertoire that I've, that I've managed to sort of think up so far. Mm. I bet I bet you haven't tried them yet. On oh, Prez, I have. All of them. Ah, that's, that's... Of thing, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you can do, you can't do it on a 66, but you can on a 73, is you can hold the horn on the driver's side down and the horn on the second man's side up. And you get like a big American sounding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 73. Yeah. I've done that. New model bus 05. I want to circle. I want the circle line on TWS. TW, TSW 2. And James said that would be good. Yeah, that was me. Mm. <laughs> I remember the first time I yeah. heard a 800 horn. Better oh, underwhelming. 800. Oh, the horn was better underwhelming there. For all you <laughs> southeast South guys, I saw a um a London over. Is it seven one seven? Is there? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I saw, I saw one yesterday. Dorking in the sidings. Seven ten. Seven ten. Yeah. Seven ten. What did you do with that, Richard? What did you do the uh, What did What did you do with the uh, HTT, Richard. Ah, uh, you see, if I if I was to say yes, you'd know who I work for. Who is the rare head in the southeast? Mm. I mean, I think well, we can get any chance be that company that operates out of Tunbridge West. Equally, you can say no because your root card doesn't allow it, and you can still <laughs> say what to work for. Yeah, it's that company that has something to do with Great Britain, isn't it? I was driving RHTTs yesterday, but it could have been MPVs for a different company, so. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Might it be that only company to still operate a 73? Oh, uh, well, no, there, there, is, there, is a, there are some other 73s knocking about. Mm. Yeah, oh, we'll ignore sleeper. that Polar Rail exists. Yeah, Calendon, you see it, yeah. I think Network, yeah. Rail have, Network Rail have got one, haven't they? They've got yeah. two. <laughs> the minions. Would it be that company that operates them out of that yard in Kent that might or may not be the west of a certain type of bridge that happens mm. to run 73s in a bright well, yellow livery? Well, I live in Hastings and I have to live within an hour of where I work. Um, what he's trying to say is he can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> Yeah, if if this wasn't live on YouTube, I might uh, I might say something different. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the yeah, might be a edge. bit more specific. Ah, bit Richard, more. What, Richard Richard Hawking said, also the T also the T T W S two would be great to have Brighton mainline, also West Coast line Sussex. Slightly creepier, an advert for Train Sim World Two pops up. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I quite fancy having a go at the Baker Lou line on TSW2. I must yeah, that say. is a bit weird. Ah. Oh, that looks like a 73. Yeah. yeah. I, have, I have tried the Baker Lou line on the TSW2. And ah, the, the, it's, it's, it's the same right. word on the bus. The modern bus five says, I am on the middle main line. And Eddie says, Eddie says, 
Bench Edges Adventures as G B U R F. Who are they? Never heard of that. Never heard of G B R F. No. Who are they? Well, what uh, oh, station is that, uh, Friday? That looks like the old old London Bridge. It yeah. is. Wow. The old Southern it Park. Says, wow. B L M. Wow. The B L M. Yeah, it's I, a great, great game, and neither confirm or nor a Denny, a Denny or Eddie. Ken Change Fan says, "I'm pretty sure I've seen you on a 66." Lol. Yeah, you, you most definitely would have seen me on a 66 somewhere if you're in Kent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And the new the new model buses we have East Coast where we have we have the East Coast way on the T T T T S W two on T S W one. Do you drive to Inning? Do you drive to Inningham? Uh, uh, near Grimsby via Lincoln because because I can see quite a lot. I'm not sure that's in the southeast, but all right. No, I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I not that far. far as, I go as far north as Wilsdon. And he says, and, and he and says, north of the river is up north. Minningham. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I will do anyway. Minningham is a bit too far from north. I was going to say and, Lincoln ain't far away from me actually. Yeah, I, I, wish, I wish he did vote as I'm not far from Lincoln. Prosecutor. Personally. Yeah. Oh, Eddie, Eddie lives close to Lincoln. I, I'm in Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Ma- that was Eddie, my week. Got, uh, t- 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 anyone has anyone have any strong opinions on HS2? Ah, uh, no, that is a good topic. Um, yes, uh, build it. Get on with it. Do it. And then yeah, let me <laughs> Basically, get it built, get it done, get and trains running, job done. Lawn, build it. Some seventy The new model bus zero five. I says. think. Um, I think. I think HS two is a, a much needed idea. Mm. I think you can plough as much money as you want into upgrading the existing network, but the capacity just isn't there. Um, well. Mm. The capacity Passenger mm. demand doesn't come back. Maybe it will be there, but um, especially freight capacity and stuff like that. We could do, you could have so much more freight on the rail, but the the pathways yeah. to run trains just don't mm. exist. Ah, my model streamer says, "Yeah, that's a waste of money." And he says, "Which should?" Ah, uh, now which, that's a good I question. do think it's a lot of money. Which and should be cross rail or HS two? Now it should no, be it should be Crossrail, but it'll probably be HS2. <laughs> what do you think of this? What do you think of the 701 S's? Huh? 701s, they look very the cabs on the 701s look amazing. Um they do look nice, I must say. <laughs> yeah, plastic. Yeah. Uh, I, I know a couple of blokes that have driven them and they say they drive very nice. Cool. So yeah, I've only only ever delivered one. I haven't actually seen ah, them. Mike, ah, Mike, Michael, fellow TS says, big enough step should be. We have been thinking ever faster and more, more advanced. And Daniel says, yeah, that's the first one, Michael, flower TS C O I said. Yeah, I know. I know what you're saying with HS2. You know, should we be looking at making it bigger and faster? And I think the yeah, argument and they, says it, is... they, 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 I think they copied the, I think they copied the 700 in TV. On the 701s, yeah. Ah, I, I can't not wait. That the, the the new the new model bus or five says. I can't not wait for the three one threes for East Crossway for on Trentsim Trentsim Road two. <laughs> the thing is with HS two is uh, the what's going to happen to like the I don't understand how it can free up more space on the existing network because all the trains that are currently on there won't they still need to be on there? I think the theory is that you're you're going to be able to reduce the service on the classic network. 
Yeah. Um, All right, okay. I mean, and but even, will the operators want to do that, though? Uh, it probably won't be down to the operators. It'll be down to the DFT to specify what the service is. And mm. even if they don't reduce the service, you've got to look at the, the network's running at about 110% capacity already. Um, mm. The, the, ah, the, the module streamer says, if, module streamer says the time took on... The time took for HS2 is a joke. It took less time for build 6,000 miles, change to civilians, railway picks and silvers. HS2 there is a lot more complicated than... Mm. Yeah. yeah. The new model says think... East Coast Way. The East Coast Way should be splendid to all that. To all, yeah, that's near where I live. To all, about, yeah. on, the, on the simulator there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I think yeah, HS two taking so long to build. It's it's all to do with newts and wildlife and stuff, isn't it? and um, people, and politics as well. And politics, yeah. I think the actual construction of it is it's going mm. to be a complicated project, but I think it's been so long planning, and they've wasted they've wasted millions on the planning. It's just it's mm. crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's insane how much they've spent. But there we go. I wonder it's if only the, some uh, of HS2 will get built. Company, like, I uh, doubt they'll build it all. Down into administration and whatever as well. I think I'm we'll looking for the uh, HS2 past Birmingham. Ah. The DP Travel hashtag transport says the GWR 800, 800 needs a buffet. Buffet. Something like the um, something like they got on the Pendolino, it's like a little shop or something. Yeah, the, yeah. there's one little buffet on the LNER ones as well. And that ain't too bad, but the kitchen on them's tiny as anything. But they're really expensive, though, aren't they? They're so overpriced. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they no, are. a hot chocolate on GWR, something like three pound fifty. It's ridiculous. Nearly, it's nearly as bad as a cup of coffee on Ryanair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I once got a free hot cup of tea on uh, you know, ah. to your birthday. Did Daniel yeah, Morris grant anything from Foster? The first one is it Daniel Morris right. Daniel Morris yeah. says, Do you think HS1 will be HS1 will be linked up to the Mersey link or that? That's that, that, that has been on the cards for absolutely years. The problem uh, with that, that is um Ashford Station, where are you coming from? The market. A, I, said, I feel that. Eight. I feel that all the way. Should we bring back freight trains, but take heavy goods instead? Instead, using lorries, transport heavy goods by roads and where heavy traffic. And model streamer says HS has to more com compacted, mm. uh, and we have modern tracks laying equipment now. The build, the, the build, the length with of freight the... traffic. I, I would love to see more freight on rails. I know that most people would. Again, the pathways just aren't there to accommodate yeah. it. There's so many passenger trains now. This isn't the space for the freight trains. Um, oh, I'm doing my words on the chat. Great to get more freight on rail. It really would. Yeah. Yeah. I think what they ought to do. There's passengers Richard, always the complain that they like battle. I think we ought to start shov shoving all the passengers into the freight trains. <laughs> That's a great. They do that in India, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> no, like no, 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 no. They're on the roof in India. Yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah, I'm that's basically trying to even world. see where it's going. <laughs> they're all Has like, anyone ever oh, remembered oh, the invite? The front windscreen. <laughs> um, I need to go, guys. But thank you very much for the, uh, the invite and everything, or the uh, the link in. So I'll catch up next time, no doubt. Yeah, cheers, Mark. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Check out GB Ralph cheers, bye. Cheers, mate. Right. Has um, anyone ever window hung before? Um, How fast have they gone? I have, between Cardiff and Shrewsbury, 67. Yeah. How, fa how fast were you going? Well, I don't know what the line. I don't know what the line speed is actually, but under mile now, I think. Sorry it's... about. Well, mod model streamer says Please. we have heavy goods. We don't move coal or oil. More currently, we have many. We have little steel oh, instructor left. No, we do. I've perfect. done it coming out of Newport on a steel train. Oh, we man. do move coal and oil still. <laughs> oh, man.
radio. Yeah. My window oh. hanged on a HST uh, from Grantham to Doncaster at 125 miles per hour. How I'm doing with my, how I'm doing with my words. Just, just, oh, yeah. just remember, guys, this is live streaming and it's going to stay on YouTube. So oh, yeah. I don't mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should have pointed out when I was window hanging up, I'd, it was only my hand out slightly and that wasn't in much. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 Clear that up. <laughs> <laughs> and Arriva trains where I was were aware of it and they didn't mind yeah and uh, oh totally didn't give there's, good, uh, there's a good 20. one I think there's a good one in here a Kent train fan says they should start running they should start running constant spread dollars more again they should used to Mm. What's the worst people? What? No, sorry. What's the worst delay as people ever had before on a train? Oh, I've Ooh. had a four I hour. Think, four hour. York, oh, yeah. from York to anywhere, anywhere in the country. Two hours forty. I was on a diverted uh, mm. London to Glasgow from Crewe to Glasgow. Mm. We diverted via Manchester. Yeah, I got sick and tired of Manchester. <laughs> the, the one, the one day I was up at my low, and I thought I'll check on RTT see if there's a train running. Right? Whole trains fifty five minutes later out of uh, King's Cross. I thought I'll catch that. Got to, got to Hull, got a delay claim for it, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> best, best thing yeah. isn't Mister Connect up to Scarborough. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I got That's half right. We train for back for it. Yeah. But it was an incident um, uh, a couple of months back. Now I think it was. <clears throat> uh, we had uh, a suicidal person um, <clears throat> in, in the local area. <clears throat> the trains was trains were. Ah, Richard Richard Hawking says <laughs> I had a eight hour delay. From nine in the morning <clears throat> till two in the afternoon. Oh, nothing. Gee, me don't. Five hours. Um, Trackside filming a few days ago. The freight yeah. was five hours. Right? The new oh, model bus awesome. says me at Doncaster because of signal failure at the day after day at York after a day at York. <laughs> Doncaster ain't too bad actually. I like Doncaster. Yeah, there are about eight um, platforms at. Uh, Doncaster and the majority are reversible. Whoa. I know. Um, I know. That's from zero. Yeah, zero's the. Uh, it's quite good there. as well. Yeah, zero. zero. You get like all the slow stopping services. Yeah, that's the yeah, you get get the like Hendon and Hessel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Kind of. <laughs> I think it was yeah. a good idea. And Danny Morris White says for everyone, how often do you think you'll be how often do you think you'll bring bring these calls? How long's a piece of string? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's I think it's the a good train, thing. Kent train fan. The Kent train fan says a couple of years ago I was on the southern train got stuck. Outside mm. Herne Bay for three hours because of flooding. Oof. Yeah, I could imagine Oof. that. Yeah, yeah I mean, so, um, third rail area. Yeah, yeah, mm. electrified, and some sometimes have to go. They have to. They have to go absolutely slow up snow. Go on the electrified third rail. Go spark a lot. Yeah, the the well, it's it's because um, in, like, in, in the thirty. Because the uh, because the down platforms uh, the down platform at Herm Bay um, is an island, mm. uh, and there's no lift there either, so it's just a subway. So uh, there have been times, actually, uh, when I was at work, I'd, um, that there was severe flooding uh, when we had flash floods like, all mm. over, um, and uh, the, you know people were saying ah. that, like the. Uh, Robert Leg says, how many, how, how many of you are train drivers? Like Herne Bay. 
That's for Richard. Mm. Sorry, say sorry. I was um in the chat. Say again. All right, I answered it for him. <laughs> oh, how <laughs> many? How many are you? How many of you are train drivers? What Robert Leg says. How many of us are train drivers? Two, one and a half. Sorry, no. Kevin. <laughs> I'm the half. I'm the half. <laughs> are you two of us? Richard, the, Richard Hawkins says, bring back manual signals buttons with using computer. Then if the computer goes down, bring the network network to a halt. Yeah, but that's a safety device. Mm. Mm. And there'd be a backup as well, stuff like that. There's mm. good and bad with that, isn't there? I mean, the days when you used to have little signal boxes along the line, in some ways it's going to be more reliable because if a signal point breaks, you know, signal mm. can jump out the box and fix it. But then they want to cut staff and cut costs and make it more mm. cheaper for the passenger and reduce fares and make the service better, mm. which is privatisation definitely mm. does. Right, I'm going to go now. Didn't you model bus five says i keep speeding on the trains in world Rob, robert robert says robert the rod says please can i ask you a question please yes and your question what does you just did <laughs> <laughs> that was a question in itself <laughs> yeah robert says where do you travel from what robert says i think that's for callum yeah. I, 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 I have asked that he can answer, ask anything. <laughs> yeah, I think that was... Oh, does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those also, annoying customer assistants. Also, yeah. uh, I travel from Ashford to Tombridge at times. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go like now. I'm customer assistants. Nice. So, Nice yeah, chatting to you. Says, oh, what nice chatting to you. I'll say the platforms don't go to London. <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah, yeah I, like, I, I used to say that when I was on the platform. Gee, there's, uh, there's a lot. Keep trying to speak. I don't think I can be heard. Richard, would you mind explaining the banner? The banner repeats a sign, please. Chris yeah, banner repeaters are really simple. It basically tells you whether a signal is at danger or a signal shows a proceed aspect. So okay. think of it as an old semaphore signal. If the banner repeater is horizontal, that means the signal's at danger. If the banner mm. repeater is vertical, it means the signal is showing a proceed aspect. However, on a lot of routes now, they're putting free aspect banner repeaters in, which is where the background of the banner can turn <laughs> green. And it shows yeah. the next <clears throat> and they are cool. I'll look up for you. Robert, the, Robert says... Look out yeah. for you. Yeah, I think that's for Callum. That's for me. <laughs> Richard, has Hastings still got semaphore uh, semaphore signals, or are they being uh, replaced now? No, you've so got Hastings is the only place on in our area that still has them. Yeah, but you've got I've... semaphores at the or end of the station, and the uh, St Leonard's end is all LED signals. Mm. So they actually um, one, the one the platform one, platform two, platform three, platform four, platform five are automatic lights, signalers. Mm. I want to ask, uh, how how do you, you southeastern guys got to drive the uh, bullet train, the three nine five? Yes, well, but they, they have I this in the Grove Park area now with new with the new signaling. Yeah, I used to drive the 395s um, when I was with, uh, yeah, South Eastern. I, yeah, I'll say it. <laughs> I think I've, I've been, I've been on... I've yeah, been, I've been, been, been on North Bay from... I, um, how is Phil? How is from, Phil? From Pancras. Yeah, really drive. I, I only ever drove them as a depot driver, so I never took them out on the main lines. It was the fastest train in the country, yeah. and I only to drive at 10 miles an hour. Uh, <laughs> oh, very nice, very nice. Yeah, uh, Richard says, "Are making it the Marshall Hastings to Ashford Electric?" Eurostar. Eurostar's 187 mile an hour compared to <laughs> um, compared to 140. Yeah, that's mm. true. 
Yeah. I don't know I've not, domestic I've, service, but, um, yeah, but definitely, <laughs> um, like the high speed as, as a driver, the high speed is uh, regarded Callum says, well, as a sort of the prestige the green uh, fan, yeah. role. Wow. Driver role. So, um, you have to be, uh, driving mainline services or well, mainline stock for at yeah. least two years before Tell you're eligible to apply. You have space. much interest of heritage, street, steam, or um, about yeah, exploring mainline yeah. steam driving. Uh, <sighs> how sensitive are the TPWS overspeed systems? Depends on. Um, depends on the speed restrictions. Some of them are really sensitive. Some of them are quite uh, lenient. They're more sensitive for freight trains than what they are passenger trains. Mm -hmm. But it's either it's either you tripped it or you haven't tripped it. If you've tripped it, it's not going to be a case of you are only 0.1 of a mile an hour over. If you tripped it, mm. you tripped. Um, but it's a great safety system and it definitely needs to be there. Although it is um, it's rather embarrassing when you do trip them. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever tripped on this message from uh, um, uh, yeah, the main I've, model uh, bus I've tripped uh, about three about the, I can't wait for South East and the high speed on uh, trains in World 2 um, uh, see if they actually uh, if they actually add in the, the neutral sections on the uh, in on the in cab signaling because um, that's something that's one feature that wasn't actually implemented on uh, on the original on the uh, train sim, like the high speed hmm. train sim. On this, the fact that they, there was a bug on there um, of some sort for uh, changing between the uh, DC for rail and the AC overheads. Mm. Uh, yeah, I remember it. From, yeah, from the third rail onto, uh, wow. we have to. Um, Robert we says, have to press the button Stephen twice, I think. Signals drive through. Stephen Chair, signals I drive through at a steal. At a deal. Yeah, there's, oh, there's a couple of semaphores up near Deal yeah, still. Yeah, down near the Ramsgate area. Yeah. Yeah. If you like semaphores, you can see it's just the step forward driveless trains. No, I don't think TPWS is with no. it, it, not a driverless system at all. You've got the um, ATO through the Thameslink port, and that's that's driverless. I think it's going to be it's going to be a few more years before we see driverless trains on the main line uh, in full. Yeah, we do testing at the moment at um, just below Stevenage with uh, the new ECTS systems and the ATO systems. Mm. But again, that's still, and especially the ATO systems. We're still in the early stages of testing them. And it, yeah, like Rich said, it's going to be at least another 10, 15 years, I reckon, before we start seeing it implemented elsewhere. They've, they've got the ATO system in through the Thameslink core, and although it's there, they don't need it. Um, and from what I understand, it has ah. the, new, the new model streaming bus says, the new model, the new, the, the new model bus or five says, can I keep doing East Coast Way with no hood? Because I went the challenger to myself, looking more realistic. realistic. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You can turn the head off and learn the route. Yeah, the um the ATO system for the core, they found a couple of bugs with it, um, and it led to a non-service stream collision. Um, a few years back, and so they they've never turned it back on since. That's, mm. not That's not great, is it? <laughs> no. What's modern technology? I hate to say, but it's a colossal app. If you know what I mean. Mm. We got we got two guys in here playing train sims. Riley's yeah. Three nine five by the looks of it. Jonathan, that looks like. I've been on. I've been on the three nine five. Pop my ears. Uh, I'm playing trains and world at the moment. But. What is better, third rail or overhead wires? Honestly, probably overhead wires because you get more voltage out of them. The trains are much faster. Mm. And overhead safer. Yeah. 
No more ago, I'm going to have a drink. I guess because trades will come a lot sooner than people think. I don't want to see that here. And Daniel says a lot to say to our being used regular passenger service now through TL, for TL code. I didn't know it was going to be used regularly through the Thames and Quad. I think it's going to take me or something on in the background. I can hear Tony. Maybe it's not right, Dave. I'm getting bored. Who's got the inside? That's Jonathan. That may be through copyrighted. Oh, that one is how they got Dave and Finding Pass. Oh, yeah. Jonathan. Did I mute him out? Yeah. 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 That's better. Hello, Yeah, you don't want to get striked. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know what you need to do, like. South, South East, Southeastern. Callum. Nah, no, freight company. <laughs> ah, I would, who is James as well? A certain freight company. A certain one. Yeah, Louis trains were still on. <laughs> I'm still on. Yeah, They'll be here tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll still be here the next time Richard to work. Oh, yeah. I've, got, yeah. I've got one more Never shift lived. and I've got a week off. So, yeah. Ooh, nice. what, have they, what have they given you for your last shift? Anything nice? Um... Trying to figure yeah. the head. Well, six, hot hotel to start six, with. Six hotel eight two, I think it is. Which what was one? that? Six hotel eight Ooh. two goes back. That's four Yankee one nine. Yeah, eight two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Are you going to yeah. Yeah. Not, it's not painful. Yeah. Where are you going? I, who says I have? Oh. Long. I have to go to sleep. So I have school tomorrow. Lewis says. Lewis Strange says. Oh, no worries, bud. <laughs> Daniel says. Daniel Morris says. What? What would do you think will get ATL? ATL next. And DP Travel says. Where? 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 I, where is the best station? I think. I think for. I think for DP Travel Transport. I think York. York's not in the south. It's in the north. I north, should know. That's south. my local. <laughs> my local. <laughs> well, and in, in, in the south, it depends what you want to see. Clapham's quite good, or or Kensington Olympia if you want freight stuff. I think, um, I think I think Clapham, yeah, it's pretty boring for train spotting. It's all units and not much freight. It's it's not great. Spend Soul Street's there. the best. Where? Sorry, Soul Street is the best. Soul Street. Yeah, yeah without you, a doubt. You don't get much through Soul Street though. Three seven five. Yeah. Three, what mm. streaming said in the good old days, I drove I drove a train after eight pin pins pints of beer, and I wasn't even a driver. Uh, we there's lot, lots of stories I could tell, not about yeah. myself because I'd be out of a job. But yeah, some of the old boys do tell good stories about that sort of thing. What route do you think will get ATO next? It's, yeah, I think it's going to be the metro route, sort of around central. Uh, Daniel Morris says, do 345 have pro probation of ATO? AT Daniel no, says. No idea. And Lewis, as Ashford isn't too good, Ashford isn't as good to. Ashford International. International. Yeah. That's not Jinx. bad. Uh, got Mr. <laughs> Mr. Jeffries down there. For you know, those of you in the south, you'll know who he is. Just for you. Just for you. How long you? How long you have been a driver, Richard? I have been with my current company for about eighteen months. Before that, I was a driver for about seven years. Wow. Um, Months. That was us on the main line, and then I had about two and a half years depot driving, so just driving in yards and stuff. I was at Ashford for a little while. You don't um, transfer out York. You, you don't York one. No, I don't go up north. Furthest north I've driven a train is Northampton. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should try train. I think you should spot a 
change spot at York or do no diary at York. <laughs> yeah, we can't right, then, we can't I'm probably going to leave. Uh, watch in the YouTube chat. Or oh, if you did York, you could pop into the National Railway Mu- Museum. Oh, sorry, the Railway Museum. <laughs> What company are you with right now, Richard? Right 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 I'm going to get into trouble if he were to say. I'd be afraid by the year. Trains. Trains, what I had. Oh, hey, Bandan. Yeah, that's 35 years on the railway. Enjoyed the first, enjoyed the first 34, hated the last one. I guess that's why you left then. It's Yeah. yeah. Mitch, Mitch, Mitch Hawkins says, I demanded managed to put overhead wires, seven tunnels, so they could do down here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. So. I've done it. Robert, Robert yeah. Ang mm. says, I've done it. Never happened, one, it that's also. two years. Was Charing Cross it for five years? So what's I, it? I work for com- com- companies. The new model. The new model boss says, I work for all com- companies in Trainsim World Two. Mm. And Lewis Train says they're not allowed to say. <laughs> so yeah, like what's what's it like, Jack, at um at York on the miniature railway? Uh, we haven't ran since COVID. Oh, I see. Right. Basically, I got passed off in March, and I've only done I've done nothing ah, because of COVID. Really? It is. Yeah. It's not too bad. On the latest regarding using Discord, would you work quite? Would you work quite well? That's good. Sure. Not, yeah, I need, not I, sure I need to move to Discord. Hmm. Yeah. I'm. Uh, yeah. I think a few people said I should get on Instagram as well, but I think that's for younger people than me. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm only I'm only on Instagram. I'm to take that age, I've got to come off of Facebook. Yeah, I think Twitter. Richard's more of a TikTok kind of guy. What's a TikTok? <laughs> TikTok yeah, you should do TikTok <laughs> stuff all about the railway. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, <sighs> it's it's been a bit manic, but how's everyone found it? It's been all right. Yeah, I've loved it. I'm doing good. It's been all right. Fantastic. Been a bit all over the place. Mm. Yeah. Lockdown's stressed. Lockdown is. I've just noticed there's a dislike on YouTube. Who's pressed that? That's all right. That doesn't matter. (laughs) Probably my wife. (laughs) Oh. Mrs. Dadrail. Mrs. Dadrail. Mum rail. Mum rail. Yeah, yeah. We, haven't done, we haven't done too bad though. I, I wanted to stream it because some people don't feel comfortable speaking and stuff, and I thought it'd be yeah. nice. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'll probably make some ad revenue, probably about 5p or something ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. it, um, YouTube costs me way more than what I make from it. Mm. Um, I just do it because I enjoy doing it. So, Which is yeah. the main thing, don't you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Did um did anybody see in the news about the uh, the GWR driver doing a hundred mile an hour over the speed limit? What? Yes. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah there's. Um, oh, I haven't seen that. There he is. There, there's a lot to that, and that's why mm. I made a video about it, and that'll be mm. coming out tomorrow or the day after. <laughs> <laughs> Little plug. Richard Hawkins says, I am a 42. I am I well, to be able to do that, it must have been on TikTok. Yeah, I, I don't think it was the drive. From what I've read, the RSSB report, the sorry, the RAIB reports come out. I don't think it was the driver's fault. It was a trap waiting to happen and he fell into it or she fell into it. Um, mm. I think it was a trap that anyone could fall into. So, yeah, but I've, 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 I'm editing a video about it. I'm trying to do some graphics and stuff. Mm. Yeah, so. Uh, 
yeah, basically it was a it was a temporary speed restriction that was 125 mile an hour for passenger, 30 for freight. Yeah. Um, mm. but then changed the speed restriction for 20 for all trains and because the driver had been over that route god knows how many times previous not slowing mm. down restriction they've driven Megan says, so yeah it's, I wouldn't uh, do that on the driver not knowing about, about the sorry on the ones well it might have been in the one because it was only changed to a 20 the same day ah uh, so, that was emergency, that emergency. Says, I read up the I wasn't driver I, I, I read up that it wasn't it wasn't the driver's fault. Yeah, I, I'm I'm very inclined to agree with that. It was there. It was a trap. I mean, technically, the buck stops with the driver because the signage was there. The driver ignored it, um, or didn't see it, or or whatever. But um, there was a trap waiting to happen, and the driver fell into it. And there were some systems failings as well that led up to that. To be honest, it's, it's a trap. I reckon I could fall into myself. Um, so yeah, yeah, definitely in interesting. Unfortunately, fortunately, nobody was hurt or anything in it. But, mm. Yeah, de definitely an interesting one. But yeah, definitely some failings there, and uh, yeah, not not being informed as Raygun says. Yeah, there is definitely a bit of that going on. Mm. Richard, how many went through Spad? Sorry, how many how many trains you went through Spad? How many trains have had Spads? Yes. I have no idea. Fortunately, touch wood, um, I've never been involved in a spad myself. Mm. Um, no, one, no one goes to work with the intention of having a spad or having an incident, but these things do happen. Mm. And there's uh, reasons, <clears throat> you know. Danny um, Morrison says, should, should they have placed the temporary AWS management there? Yeah, Daniel, there was an AWS, as far as I know, because the line is AT, ATO. Um, is it ATO, ATC? ATC, sorry. Um, yeah. Well, I believe you still get magnets with speedboards uh, for ATC. So, yeah, it would have been there. All the signage was there as it should have been. But like I say, the speedboard was 125 for passenger, um, 30 for freight. And they changed it to 20 for all trains. West Coast Railway. West, West, West Coast Railway would, be, would probably know. Isn't Reagan it ATP said. on the Great Western? Is it AT, ATP? Yeah, yeah, ATP. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know much about it to be honest with you, but I'm I'm pretty sure that runs alongside AWS, though, doesn't it? You still have the AWS as, as you normally. Yeah, would. yeah. All if I'm right, all ATP is in a, is a little flashing green light on the speed ATP, ATP, yeah. and ACS on Great Western Great Western Mainline. Yeah, I, I need I need to read up on the the ATP. Right. Yeah, systems a bit more but um it's, uh, from what i know it's a really good system it's just too expensive to roll it out and that's yeah. why we got, got tpws mm. which is is not quite as good but it's safe and that's that's mm -hmm. the main thing. how many trespasses you caught and how many you a lot not many actually normally animals mm. <laughs> it's, it's well, normally deer on the track or something like that well, but not well, many cows down in the Chillum area. Yeah, cow, cows are known for the Chillum area, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. sometimes I'm trying to find that right, Jack. What about pigeons? Because on Miniature Hill, we are pigeons pigeons. With our traps. Do you really? Yeah, they've, 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 you come right close to them and they shoot off within the last second. We, yeah, um, um, says, <laughs> I was, I was on the train. You, we, um, I was on, I was on. The train and the train missed out a station which should have stopped at a at have any anyone a train had done this. Yeah, I, I, I was the driver on a train that done that. Um, <laughs> I'm not yeah. going to go into that too much. Didn't you, didn't you mention that in one of your videos, Richard? No, I I don't know if I've talked about that particular yeah. incident in my videos, mm. but it's. And as a, as a signalman at Colchester, I had a driver's spad at signal, protecting a crossing with barriers up at speed. I got barriers down a second to spare. Fantastic. Well, well, mm. I well, think done. there's something slightly yeah. out of place here. Well, what is it? 319. Yep, 319. 319. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. Is that... Um... 
I, I can't think. Is that uh, First Capital Connect livery? Yeah, First Capital yeah. Connect. Yeah. yeah. Slightly out of place on the North Kent line. Oh, yeah. I never got to drive a 319, but I was lucky enough to, to ride in the cab a few times when I was route learning. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I would like to have a driver one. They look really good. Not very good in wet conditions, though. Apparently, they slip a lot. They used to be... I'm showing my age now, but does anyone remember them on the Brighton Main Line? They used to do the, the Brighton Express. They used to go fast, Brighton, East Quid, and London, Victoria in 49 minutes. And they had, like, a little saloon car with, like, um, a bar and everything in it on a 319. Really cool. You Google it, you'll probably find it. Brighton Express. Weren't they in Southern liveries? They were. Oh, that was Connex back then, actually. <laughs> Connex South Central. Mm. So, oh, yeah. I've got that. Uh, the oh, that yellow, yellow. <laughs> yeah. yellow livery. Yellow livery, yeah. I think I wasn't on the railway then, but I, a lot of the staff when I started were moaning about the hats they used to have to wear. <laughs> if you say, if you walk through Seven Oaks Tunnel, you'll find loads of Connex hats because the are trying to them out the windows. <laughs> Yeah, that's my sister's dog. Look, Jack, that's my sister's dog back there. No, I've just, I've just been interrupted by my cats. Riley, if that's not Gravesend. I've got no Wi Fi. That, that, that's Gravesend. It looks like you're coming into Gravesend. Going out of. Going out of. Oh, so you're heading towards who? Yeah, I've yeah. literally yeah. just come through the that old, the old end. grave. That was the old graves end, though. Yeah, <laughs> on the high speed. On the yep. high speed, that was the old uh, one up, one down, and then two through the middle before yeah. graves end was rebuilt. Yeah, you I go think on it, to the, it was operation um, better then. It's the uh, graves end's a nightmare now. Mm. Well, yeah. actually, in my opinion, since the Thameslink started running along there. The network's so congested now. <laughs> That's my mm. sister's dog, Jack. Oh, yeah. Right there. What do you think, Richard? That's my sister's dog, a beagle. Nice. Beagle. <laughs> yeah. Jack, you're in Wales, aren't you, Jack? I'm in no. Yorkshire. Yorkshire, you same. Wales, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to live near Wales, but I moved to Yorkshire last year. All right, okay. And that's and why you why are you on the mini railway yeah. out there? Yeah, I joined the railway museum a year ago, one year ago actually. So, are the locos you drive like battery powered or are they live steam? Uh, they, they run on red diesel. Oh, okay. Red yeah, diesel, Delft. that's right. And electric. We've got a Delphic and a Class 47. Oh, wonderful. They're, wow. not, they're not too bad to drive actually. It's seven and a quarter inch. Yeah. It, <laughs> they, it, they give you four. Four weeks to train now to learn all the systems with it. Yeah. We get looked after up there, actually. Is it is it like um, voluntary work or is it? Uh, yeah, it's voluntary up there. Yeah. yeah, that sounds really good, actually. But, but, but we get looked after from the management very well. That's that's what you want, isn't it? You know, yeah. as as I, can't, I can't really fault the support. Fantastic. We, I need, I need got, to get up to York. We've got a little steam train oh. ride as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that ain't too bad. It takes about ten minutes to have a ride on it. Oh, and they've even, they've even got a mallard simulator as well. Have they really? Yeah, oh. <laughs> it's, it's got to be. <laughs> ah, there's a me there's loads of messages. There's loads of messages. I've heard someone mention early asking that the driver picture that that thing. Do you think, Grant Morris Grant said, do you think they'll ever four track Brighton mainline? No. At Newcastle? No. no. There's, too much. there's not, not enough space to do it, and there's too many um, too many obstacles in the way. They, yeah. I, I think the Brighton mainline two project, I think using the Arcfield connecting the upfield lineup is an option mm. and I also think they've got the, the back road to Horsham via Dorking which is really really underused they could spend a lot of money on yeah. that it's in there so, it come down, it'd come down to money as well yeah does it does it need it yes it does will it happen yeah. I don't think so um, I mean a better option would be a high speed link wouldn't it Brighton Gatwick yeah. mm. you know um, Heathrow joining up with HS2 yeah yeah mm. I think I think I did see a proposal at one point for a high speed line Ashford, Tunbridge, um, Redhill, and then up to Heathrow that way. Mm. Uh, 
again, which would be really, I mean, that, that was on the drawing board sort of in the mm. design stages. It'd be really good. But this, yeah. I, the trouble is here, why we're thinking about projects in Germany, they're sort of, uh, why you're thinking about it, we'll start building it. Yeah. Over here, you know, we've got to have 10 years of consultations and arguing, um, mm. spend, spend 10 billion pounds, and then we decide we're not going to do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's crazy. It's about, about right. It's about right. It's well, yeah, we'll think of this. Hang on, we've now. We we'll just end two. up with another crossrail situation if we build anything else. Do you mean, do you mean the Elizabeth line? Oh, uh, well, depends on if you watch Marshall's videos or not. Yeah. I'm going to murder every person who says Elizabeth line. That's what I'm not going to say. It's. <laughs> <laughs> see it on the news the second it opens. Random person arrested for killing 100 people on the, on the Elizabeth line. Uh, <laughs> you, you reckon it you reckon it will open well probably not in our lifetimes <laughs> I, I, I don't know what i don't know what's delaying that, that that up there i don't know what's going on i don't follow it but uh yeah, yeah. and i don't have trouble yeah. because they've got to um, get the stock to work with three different signaling systems i know there was like compatibility issues Mm. Uh, I, I did see a video about that they put out a little while ago actually yeah mm. I, I saw something like that with the um, compatibility problems because uh, at the Heathrow ends the signalling system at that end is some ancient system mm. um, even older than what we use anywhere you know anywhere on the main lines mm. like yeah, you know, around here yeah, at least for oh, once though uh, Crossrail's got a reason to be late Oh yeah, I read somewhere I read somewhere earlier that the three eight sevens that GWR have it have got meant to be going over to the Oh yeah, purple trains. <laughs> yeah, not not the, pink trains. The purple trains, yeah. The Richard Richard Hawking says, "I hate the three one three trains are there no toilets on them." There is one we use. Mm. <laughs> the yellow has has a toilet. Very good toilet as well. Yeah, it was the best train I've been on a Transpennine. Classic state with MK5. I wanna I wanna say a train I'm quite controversial that I quite like. Go on. The class 802 slash 800 slash 801. Yeah. yeah. I, I like it. I've not I been like on the, Yeah, I like that their buy mode, some of them are. The buy mode, yeah. The, 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 the electric diesel, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, the yeah. electric diesel on the 800. The engine yeah. turns on, backup turns on. Yeah, AC, AC and diesel. I the think there's, uh, there's definitely a case for having more um, yeah. multimodal stuff, isn't there? Yeah. Stuff. Um, and I'd like to see... I mean, you go back to, to years ago, right. the class 73s bimodal. Mm. So ah, Richard yeah. says, what law... On trains running disabled toilets out of war, out of order. I don't. I don't know what specific law there is. Um, no, there is against that. I don't know. I don't even know if there is, but it's not good for the operators to do it, is it? Um, but there are there are reasons. I mean, as an operator, if you've got a disabled toilet that's out and you haven't got a spare train, do you cancel the train because the disabled toilet's not working? Uh, you probably oh. wouldn't. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's a diff it's. You know, it's controversial. It's just really to stop, mm. don't you? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the toilet should be working, as far as I'm mm. concerned. Can you cancel yeah. the train if the toilet isn't working? And what did I do on the Isle of Wight? Oh, yeah. The, yeah <laughs> I could, they open the doors at high speed and do it out the door. <laughs> I've, I've, I've got to make sure you ain't doing it in the right tunnel. Yeah. Uh, no, nice chatting just... to you, Richard. Yeah, and you, Jack. Take care. Yeah. Daniel Moore says, but that's correct. You can't let trains out with universal universal blues out of order. You can you you can with a standard. Mm. Mm, yeah, it does seem a bit wrong, but ah. oh, well, ah. when, when I was working fast, cancel trains because of it. And Jack MC207 says, hello, everyone. Hey, guys. Hello. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Oh, wait, Jack. 
<laughs> Jack one and Jack, Jack two. <laughs> oh, just call me Jack York. Jack yeah. York, Jack Yorkshire, Jack Newark. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, how many times have you three. ridden Pacers this year? Or like uh, I've had a Pacer once this year. Uh, mm. And that was from York to Sheffield by Pontefract Bag Hill. Oh. Yeah. I've only ever ridden one once. Yeah. And that was um I think that was yeah, that was from Scunthorpe back to Doncaster. Yeah, that yeah. was from Stopper then. Yeah, yeah, it's about fifty, uh, about what fifty minute journey, so like yeah, about that. Like, Goes all stations. Yeah, I had um, I had a, I had a one four three along the seawall. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's probably the last time I'll go on a pacer. Hopefully, I hate pacers. <laughs> you I'll should. Be ah. <laughs> BP Tom says a Voyager AK flying blues. And the new one like says, the you just should let the train like have the excess more loose with disabled, po- disabled people on a train. No, I, I like Voyagers. I know it's controversial, but... I've been on a Voyager from from Edinburgh to towards York. <laughs> I like that, aka flying toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Richard, Richard Hawkins says, how often do you find out what trains numbers letters? <laughs> Any website like that, it give you the train running numbers. E- even or RT, you know, some, some real time trains. Yeah. yeah, go on real time trains, or um, or you can look up the uh, diagrams on track C, and it'll it'll or show you, you the trains. Or you, or you could even tweet the operator as well on some of them. I know, oh, yeah, could do. I know some of the um, the better freight operators release their allocations as well, so the local allocations. Are, yeah, yeah. That's, that's only that. a select few premium freight operators that do that. Yeah, I, I found that quite useful. I was up at the local ones and GBR. Then going up, oh, see which one is it? Special livery one, weren't it? I thought, oh, I don't. Thank you very much. <laughs> celebrity loco. Yeah, you think, they should, have, do you think they should have more celebrity locos. Uh, yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. Do, you, do you think overdoing it would just take the take the excitement out of it? Yeah. But, this might make you hate me. Go on. One, four, three at St Pancras. <laughs> oh, really? How do you do that? <laughs> Train simulator, by any chance? I've been on... I've been on... I've been, I remember. I've never managed to. Yeah. I've never figured out how to uh, enable like the explore like the free roam mode on mm. the on the on the routes. I mean, this isn't like even free roam. This is just quick drive. Oh, we really yeah. I like that. The trunk. Oh, that's quite. Mm. Yeah. I I hate paces. You know. The, you know. There's a little school got a pace that is going to change into a library. Yeah, I yeah, saw that. I, I saw something about that on um is it not nod I want to say nod rod, but that's not yeah. we we've got a pace in the national collection up at Shildon. Yeah. They, 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 they they are worth preserving because they're railway history, aren't they? Yeah, we've got one four two double oh one, the first one. We've got we've got a lot of smaller heritage lines, they're they're yeah. gonna be pretty, really good. I think what they want. I think what the museum want to do is paint it into a different colour. <laughs> it's a bit shielding at the moment because the the, mu- the railway museum's got two sites: York and Sheldon. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I don't know what's at Sheldon because I haven't been up there yet. That a river place that's pulling out. Oh, uh. good boy, good boy, Max. Riley, is that, that's, um, what sis- that's what my sister's dog does. Don't get to your overhead. Mm. Well, it's debatable. Because if, you, cause if that's not on a pan, <laughs> um, no, diesel, diesel, you can go on anything, can't you? Yeah. yeah. 
Might want to turn on your daytime. Are the passengers though? going to survive to make it to Faversham? Your lights are on. Whole trains did send one of their eight o two in recently. Yeah, I remember seeing um, in the news. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was a couple of years ago now, actually. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Like, so, um, like loads of passengers getting stranded. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, because, uh, right. a certain train operator ah. in the um, Richard Hawkins says, our, I like the idea should with a, a green trains, and uh, I like the somewhat big uh, Western trains. And some where it was, some the trains, uh, the big hub, uh, uh, train in the hub, big to make where, them personal. Where the uh, where you'd need a bi mode train, mm. uh, where yeah. it goes from BT third rail to. Overheads and mm. uh, this uh, train operator sent out the wrong stock that um, wasn't Ooh. capable of buy mode. And so the, the driver didn't realize and he tried to take the train forwards and then wondered why he lost power. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's happened yeah. at North Pole before with a couple of operators. Yeah, I can't remember where yeah. it was. You've been on the electric dog, Oh, I've been with Shepherd's Bush. The uh, yeah, uh, North the junction. The and the and hmm. the third rail coupling we've got connect up to it. Uh, yeah, I think like I think for some reason the, the driver obviously didn't realise that. Oh, I don't know how it could happen because the drivers must be familiar with the, with the train. Mm -hmm. Um, to be allowed to drive the roads, mm. you'd be surprised. Mm. A lot, a lot of drivers on the passenger. I mean, I'm not, I'm not slandering anyone or anything, but you'd be surprised the amount of people who, who don't realise, actually, which subclasses of unit mm. have mm. far and on bimodal. Mm. You know, mm. A lot of, a lot of the times, you know, a unit rolls in, you, you take it. You know, you, you'd be surprised. Only people don't realise actually how many, how much of their stock isn't bimodal. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to have to uh, come off because. Um, yeah. Have off. Yeah. With, she's got she's got work in the morning, so. Guys, do you remember yeah, the well, National uh, Grid went one more day off before stopped. I'm back to work? <laughs> <laughs> no worries, bud. Yeah, I think I'm going to um, I'm gonna end the stream there anyway, guys, because we've been on for like two and a bit hours. So yeah, I'd, really? I'd, I'd sort of lined it up for half an hour. So that's not bad going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bad. So, um, yeah, is there anyone up for doing it again at some point in the future? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, yeah. yeah, what I'll do is if you guys are on my Facebook page or my Twitter page, I'll... Um, I'll put something out on there and then it'll probably be the same thing. Just email in again so I'll get a list of addresses and we'll take it from there. Yeah. yeah. Nice one, Richard. Yeah. yeah. Nice yeah. one. Rich, we need to try oh, and see if we can Thank get um, some of the big streamers on as well, like Mole Man, because he's local. Is he? <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. He's only over in Scotland. Or, or KTV videos. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, he lives, he lives on the Valley Line. All right, okay. So, I'll, yeah. I'll, see I, I'll see if I can get some news from up north as well for us all. Yeah. Might yeah, see if we, we, can, we can, ah, a bit more of a can be the Norman correspondent. We'll see how it goes. That yeah. says Michael, Mike, Michael Fuller. TF says, thank you, Richard, for hosting it and thanks for Callum for its all answers. Mm. No worries, guys. You're very welcome. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Callum, for keeping up in the chat, mate. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. A mod <laughs> moderator, Callum, at your service. Yeah, this, <laughs> the, live, the live stream's been cutting off half the Zoom call. The bottom half of the, the window's gone, and I've, I've been trying to move it up, but it's, I'm not having any yeah. luck. So I'll, I'll, have yeah. have play, I'll have to have a play at some point and try and get it to the... Resolution, Richard, in your, uh, in your OBS. Yeah, I mean, OBS, OBS is showing it in full screen. And Jack, um, Walker, Jack Walker says, thank you, Richard and Callum. Jack Walker says. No worries, Jack. You're very welcome. All right. Yeah, all right thanks guys. all for uh, an interesting convo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. 
Yes, thank you. And, and uh, yeah. I'm slightly thank, concerned thank about the lack of lighting situation as well. Well, as I was saying, thank you very much, guys. Jack Neil signing off from Yorkshire. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, Jack. Jack. Hey, well done. Signing off for so. <laughs> and uh, I'll keep on at, at uh, Richard. See if we can get a Discord server set up. How's that? <laughs> I agree. Yes. Drop me. Yeah, I agree. Drop me a message on Facebook, and I'll I'll try and get that sorted. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks later. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Cheers. Yep. Cheers. Au revoir. Bye. Bye. So guys, just want to say very uh, thank you very much for everyone who took part and everyone for watching. Um, yeah, I, I think it worked. I don't think it was too bad. Um, if you want to be part of the next one, just keep an eye on my um, social media feeds, facebook.com forward slash dadbrow, twitter.com forward slash dadbrow, and I'll, um, I'll put something up there with, with some dates and uh, how you can get involved. So yeah, thank you once again, everyone, for, for supporting me and, um, and getting involved. And it's been a really good evening. So yeah, thanks very much and uh, good night.